Hey there. Uh, today we're going to learn how to write equivalent fractions, uh, specifically with hundredths and tenths. So if I have a fraction here, uh, let's say nine tenths, uh, and I want to change from tenths to hundredths. Um, well, I know that I can write an equivalent fraction by multiplying the numerator and the denominator by the same number. So if I'm trying to get from tenths to hundredths, uh, I'm going to look at what did I do to 10 to get to 100. Uh, in order to get from 10 to 100, I had to multiply 10 by 10. If I multiply the denominator by 10, I would also want to multiply the numerator by 10 in order to get an equivalent fraction. So therefore, 9 tenths would really be equivalent to 90 hundredths, since I multiply 9 by 10 and get 90. So if I'm trying to write a fraction with a denominator of 10, as an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 100, all I need to do is multiply the top and the bottom, the numerator and the denominator, by 10. For instance, 7 tenths, if I wanted to write that as an equivalent fraction with hundredths in the denominator, I would multiply 7 by 10 because I had to multiply 10 by 10. And 7 times 10 would give me 70 hundredths. One more example here. 3 tenths. Again, if I wanted to write that as an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 100, I would want to multiply 3 by 10 since I also multiplied 10 by 10. And 3 times 10 would give me 30 hundredths. So 3 tenths is really equivalent to 30 hundredths.